Now, today's top stories and Power of Five weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Now here's a look at today's top stories. Hello everybody, I'm Tracy Carlos. The Willoughby Hills Fire Department is investigating a suspected case of arson. They say it happened on White Road Saturday afternoon. According to firefighters, they found a garage fire that reached the house. The fire was under control within about a half an hour. No injuries were reported. The fire marshal's office in Western Lake County Fire are investigating it as arson because they tell us multiple fires were set throughout the house. A $5,000 reward is being offered for information leading to an arrest. Canton police are investigating a double shooting that left one person dead and another injured early this morning. The shooting happened at Victory Square Apartments. Police say that 25-year-old Stanley Calhoun was found with a gunshot wound to the chest. He died at the hospital. The second victim was a 63-year-old woman who was shot in the arm. We're told she has non-life-threatening injuries. Police say there are no suspects right now. Anyone with information is asked to call Canton police. And after more than two years living in the pandemic, many people are taking a closer look at their mental health. Taking good care of our mental health can directly benefit our physical health, too. One Cleveland Clinic doctor told us the mind-body connection is more important than you might think, and exercise can make you happier and have better focus throughout the day. She also said a good way to take care of your mental health is to just take short breaks throughout the day. Um, one of the things that I actually recommend to a lot of my patients, especially those who are going from one activity to the next, um, is just to take a 60 second break. Um, and it doesn't really seem like a long time. Um, but I tell people, if you can take that 60 second break, um, it could be really helpful to reset yourself and to recharge. Small breaks throughout the day can also really benefit moms who struggle to find time for themselves. And Ramisha, it might be a good idea to get outside and take a walk today. Beautiful. Yeah, I think that will make anyone happy and excited and brighten your spirits with all of that beautiful sunshine. Temperatures also will be heating up a little later this week. So finally getting a break from all of the craziness with the weather that we've been experiencing. Near perfect for your evening plans with mom. You may need a light jacket, but you can leave the umbrellas at home. Those temperatures are likely in the 50s this evening. 59 degrees around 7 p.m. Low 50s by 11 p.m. And down to around 50 degrees around 1 a.m. But notice there's no rain in this forecast, just a few clouds lingering and overall shaping up to be an absolutely beautiful night. Get out there, hopefully have some fun with mom, with other family members and enjoy the quiet weather. This quiet weather will stick around for several days. In fact, we're going to have a big ridge of high pressure building in. That means a lot of sinking air. That air is going to be dry and it's going to heat up and that spells beautiful conditions for your outdoor plans. If you've got to mow the lawn, if you want to go for a jog, walk the dog, weather will be perfect for all of that for this work week. And temperatures are gradually climbing to the low 80s by Thursday and Friday with lots of sunshine.